So at this time of year, people like to give picture books to kids. They're not really sure if they already have them or not. So I picked three new picture books, one for each of the kind of ages that picture books um, will cover in their range from um, the youngest to maybe six or seven. So the first I want to show you is a new one from Emma Dodd, who we absolutely adore. Um, this one is called Christmas is Joy. I, of course, have a cute little plush that matches it exactly. And um, her books are very simple. This one has some foil elements that make it really interesting for little, little ones under two. Um, Christmas is happiness, smiles of surprise, the warmth of affection, the light that lights up your eyes just filled with um, gentle rhymes like that throughout so really a good one for the youngest then for the next group maybe two three four years old we've got after the snowfall this is a, an absolutely gorgeous book about a fox that comes out of its den peeks out of its den and looks around and sees um, all is silent, and then a buck stands hidden by the trees. So some very simple words as we see the fox go around and find the squirrels, the mice foraging for seeds beneath the snow, mallard ducks. So it takes you through a number of animals from this region. Richard Lowe did a beautiful job on this one and a wonderful one to share long past the holidays. And then for the older kids, um, The Three Brothers by Marie Louise Gay. Um, we know her, she's a longtime author for kids. This is about three brothers who decide they're going to go on an adventure. Um, they wake up to find the youngest one is hilarious. He's he's falls asleep at the end of the story times and so forth. But they're all gonna go on this story, on this adventure. Um, but they wake up the next morning. They pack their lunches. These guys are really organized. Um, but they discover it has snowed. So they strap pie plates to their feet and off they go to find wild animals in the in the woods near their house. Um, and the fun thing is, is that she's drawn these kind of outlines of animals in the forest. There's a raccoon, there's a fox watching them, uh, but the kids never see them. So they decide they're going to build their own animals um, and then come back and bring their grandfather to come uh, see the animals um, with them the next day. It's just absolutely charming, a lot of fun, great sibling story. Those are hard to find. Um, and this one is fantastic. Um, a little more text in it, so it's for maybe older kids that need that can sit and listen to a, a full story, but this is a really good one. 